Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a chit chat with me slash get ready with me and we are going to be creating a smoky eye. But before we get to that, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the subscribe button and also hit the notification bell so you can see more videos like this right when I post them. Okay, so let's jump right on in. So what a smoky eye is, is a reverse, I want to say like a reverse regular eye. You know how you use the dark colors in your crease and then use the lighter colors towards um, the downward part of your eye. So a smoky eyes, we're going to reverse that. We're going to use the lighter colors in our crease and then slowly, gradually with different colors go down to its deepest color. You can use black, you can use gold, you can use silvers, you can actually do a smoky eye in nude. <laughs> which is very pretty by the way but today we are actually going to be doing a black smoky eye and I am going to be taking these two colors right here in the NYX Ultimate Palette. I'm going to be using a fluffy brush from Icon. I don't think this um, brush has a name to it just to taking a lot of color. I'm going to tap off some of this excess. I'm just going to go right in my crease and I've actually been trying to do this YouTube thing for, since about 2000 and I want to say 2007, 2008, right before the waves hit. This is during the time that the Missy Lens and the Jackie I Lens and all of those people um, just got started. I actually had a channel, but I was too scared to keep going. So here we are starting back at ground zero while all those other ladies are booming and very successful at what they do I'm starting back at one which is okay you know so that just goes to show you that you shouldn't let fear or doubt or any of those things stop you from doing what you're supposed to be doing what you're called to do that's for sure so what I'm doing is just I'm just sweeping back and forth with the light colors it's a dubious place yeah so don't let fear stop you from the things that you are supposed to be doing oh let's take this brown color that's a good transition color third color this is the color um yodit so we're actually just going to take this color down right here Right from up under those other colors that we used. And I'm also going to be trying a, um, a concealer new method. I'm going to be using three different concealers today. A dark, a medium, and a light. Well, like my skin tone, a medium, and then a light. Just to see the different variations of things. And then we're going to go in with the brown color right here. As we create the smoky eye. So we're gradually getting smokier and smokier. Yeah. So as I was stating, um, you shouldn't allow fear to stop you from doing all the things that you are needing to do in life especially when you're called you know what i'm saying like if i would have started back in 2007 when i originally started who knows where i would have been so i'm just trying to find the balance of where i am right now and not focusing on you know the past of shoulda, woulda, coulda. But isn't that like the worst? It's like the worst feeling. To be like, oh, you know what? If I didn't do X, Y, and Z, I would be here. But it's okay. Everybody's journey is different. So there is a couple of life lessons that I learned along the way of working in this business. Um, this beauty business. Because although I'm starting as an influencer, I do have a little something, something going on as far as um, TV and film is concerned. 
And even in those spaces, you have to be cautious about what's going on, you know. Thank God that I had the sense to start doing that at least, you know. Um, so when I first came to New York, about... So what I did was I took... I went into Juvia's place because I'm going to be honest with you. This Nick stuff was not working for me. But let me tell you what did work for me. Juvia's place. So I went in with this color right here on the lower lid. And then I went in a little bit with the orange. And then on top is the brown, this brown, and this brick red color. So now we are all done with eyes. So what was I saying? I was telling you guys about life lessons that I've learned along the way. Because although I look young. I am not, <laughs> um, although I'm grateful for my young looks. I'm, she's no spring chicken, if you know what I mean. So along the way, on this journey to become this makeup artist, I've learned that you have to take, as with life, the good with the bad. I've learned that you have to, I don't like, you see this line, I'm trying to, fix this line because I don't like lines. Colors just blend in. And so um yeah I've just learned to take the good with the bad. I've learned to just um when people show you who they are take it as face value. Um I understand that in this beauty industry, it can be extremely catty. For no in particular reason. Just catty. Hi, Lewis. My dog, Lewis, is on set now <laughs> in my beauty space. So, yeah. That's what I've learned of along the way. Um, and if anybody, if you guys are interested in getting tips on how to, you know what, let's let's talk about that. I have, here are a few tips of how to get started in this industry, right? So, this line is really irritating me. I'm going to take this brush. See if this will get it out. So, um, the first thing you want to do is after you decide that this is your passion, this is your thing, and this is what you really, truly want to do, you absolutely love makeup, my suggestion is um, go to a makeup counter. And here's why. Because you don't want to get stuck with just doing yourself. Like, unless you want to just be like an influencer or something like that, then you probably won't have any clients or whatever. And you know products that will work for your skin and things like that and stuff like that. But it's, to me, it's, I suggest going to a... Um, Oh, is this Golden Glow? Yes. Um, going to a makeup counter and getting started that way. So that way you're not just doing yourself. Lewis, what are you doing? Don't be bad babies. So I'm going to take, I'm going to be using Vera Moore today, um, cream foundation in the color Golden Glow. And like I said, we're going to be doing a few things with face that I've picked up along the way. About two or uh, three layers of this foundation. Because we're really going to build up the face. And I just have like a regular fluffy brush. You can use a kabuki brush when doing creams. For those of you who are who that are wondering what is this spot on my arm, I have eczema. <laughs> and so I have been using um, aloe vera plant and something that the doctor prescribed to try and fade it away. Now I'm going to go in with my Juvia's Place with the concealer. Just 
we're just going to let it sit to get a little tacky because in order for you to get full coverage of your concealer it's best for you to let it sit for a minute This is just the first layer right here, cork right here, and boop, boop. Next, we're going to take our sponge, which is wet, a wet sponge. I'm just going to let it get a little tacky before I start moving it. And this is Juvia's place in shade 12. So. What I was saying before is when you want to um, build your portfolio for this industry, what you, excuse me, what you want to do is you want to start, um, you want to work at a makeup counter. The next thing you want to do is whatever city you're in, there's photographers all over the world because people need photos and people like photos. So you want to get with your local photographer next and start taking photos of models. That's the next thing you want to do. And of course, use social media. Don't be like me. Don't let fear set in and cause you not to do what you are supposed to do in this world. Don't allow fear to take over. Okay? We're just going to go all the way up our occipital bone. that into the skin and I like this this is literally just like a little sponge brush I like to go up like and I do the same for this side and then I go upward and down our nose So after you, step number one, go to the makeup counter and get some experience working with all skin types, unless you want to be an influencer and just do yourself. Um, I recommend, rec recommend products that are just for your skin type. Strongly suggest working for a counter of some sort. Um, and then the next thing you want to do is in your town, you want to work with your local photographer. Find your local photographer. I'm just literally pressing it into my skin. Um, yeah. This is too orangey, so we're not even going to use that. Um, I'm going to go in with the matte color and shade. My normal color is shade 45, and so I think this is a 50, NC50. And we're just going to highlight conceal a little bit more around conceal down here and I'm literally just using a little bit I'm not using a whole lot of this because I'm gonna go in with the Kevin Okru also known as Kevin Okwan And I'm going to light because that'll be my third. So the first concealer is like somewhat something that is similar to my skin tone. This one right here is my medium tone. And then I'm going to go in with a lighter tone and go directly under my eyes with it. So now I'm going to take my Kevin O'Quan which I just saw. And Kevin O'Quan is really, um, I don't want to say dramatic, but it's intense. So you only need a little bit of this. A small, literally a small dosage of the Kevin O'Quan. 
So I have popped on my lashes. I am all ready to go. I did add a little bit of silver in the tear ducts right here. I hope you guys have fully enjoyed this video and got some tips and learned a little bit about me. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, I will see you guys next time. Later, lovers.